Okay, so if you have to write the rate expression for this chemical equation, um, the formula is this. If you have a generic compound A and a generic compound B, um, the reactants are always going to be negative and the products are always going to be positive. This is just because um, w since reactants are decreasing, um, this is final, the change means final minus initial, and the final is going to be less than the initial, so it's going to be negative. Um, so, so what's going to happen here is that, um, we're going to, we're going to write this expression. So, first what you, you're going to do is you're going to take the change of H2 over change of time, and then you look at, if you first look if the, the equation's balanced, and you look at the coefficient, and the coefficient's just going to be 1 over 1, so, um, you don't write that. But since it's on the reactant side, it's going to be negative. And then this equals um, the other reactant, which is also going to be negative because it's a reactant. And it's going to be change over I2 over change over time. Finally, it's going to equal this one. And then the coefficient is 1, so it would just be 1 over 1. And so it isn't, um, we don't put that there. And then finally, um, the product is going to be positive, so uh, and then we look at the coefficient, and it's 2, so the formula is 1 over 2. You put this coefficient over 1, and then finally, change over hi um, over change over t. So this would, this is how you, like, and what this, what this means is that the rate of this, if you have a rate, will equal this. So if you have a rate let's say of 5, right? We'll plug it in. So um, it's a, the negative supposed to cancel out with whatever you get. So it'll become like, for if we're doing this, if the rate's 5, it'll, e it'll be 5. And then, um, and then uh, it'll equal this one, 1 half over change of hi over change of t. And then when you'll, it, just, to, just to find the rate of this, all you have to do is multiply by 2. So that cancels, and then it the rate of um, HI will actually be 10. And you, this logically makes sense, because the rate of HI should be more than I2. Because it should be double, the rate of appearance of HI should be double of the disappearance of I2. So that's how you can logically look at that too.